So this video, hello, my name is John Limcool. This is gonna be a video exploring the two libraries I have released for WaveState. Mega Magic Dreams, which has all of these patches, and then Mega Magic Pants. Both have 10 bonus patches, so you have different. The pads, library's gonna be more paddy. What was fun with this one, I, if you realize and notice and recognize, I think it's like the C. Yeah. Original from the wave station. The wave sequence is still here, so. I incorporate that into the... Right? So, anyway, these two libraries are available from my website. I will pop that up so you... It's PluginGuru.com and I have both Mega Magic Dreams and Mega Magic Pads available. So these two libraries, I'm gonna explain how to get them to load uh, between what you use with Sample Builder and what you use within the Editor Librarian program. So let's do this. I'm gonna actually delete all of this so that if we go for collection, see that's the, the category that I have here that groups everything by collection. And I can say all the Mega Magic from here to here, right click and say delete, boom. Collections are gone. <laughs> we'll come back to that in a minute. To start with, you need to get the samples loaded. So we'll go over here to the sample builder and say open bank. And this depends on what library you've purchased. There's three available from the desktop. You can see there's Dreams, Mega Magic Dreams, Mega Magic Pads, or the Mega Magic Dreams and Pads bundle. If you do the bundle, it combines all the samples from dreams and pads into a single file. So when you go to samples and you select Mega Magic Dreams dash pads Korg Bank, it will load up all of the one plus gigabyte of samples and transmit them. All you have to do is hit send bank it takes about five minutes for it to send the samples over. Once they're sent over, they're in wave state now, so I'm not going to send them right now. But then you just go to the editor librarian, and you what you do is you can be on performance. Just go import and go to that same whatever library it is. Um, if you were, let's say, desktop, if it's Mega Magic Dreams, you go to the, the WS bundle right here and just select that but we have the both of them. So we're gonna go over here to the presets folder and choose this and say open. And it takes it a little bit of time as you can, it's like 440 patches and performances. So say, okay, um, and here they are. So Mega Magic Dreams is one shot samples across the whole keyboard, one sample, very old school. It was made for Omnisphere, which is able to load one sample across the keyboard in a patch. And so I was trying to think what I could do that would be kind of unique and different and what would could use one sample. Because typically one sample, you know, you go an octave or two up the keyboard and no matter what it is, it's now a little plunk, super short. So I was thinking, what if I was to have ambience reverb recorded into the samples? And so I tried that and it ended up being really, really cool. So it's a unique sound. <laughs> And normally when you put a ton of reverb on a sound, if you play other notes, it's really muddy, but because it's in the samples, it's, it's a whole unique thing unto itself. So there's all sorts of experiments with all sorts of And because they're one-shot samples of stuff like this, they're cool for arpeggiating, so forth. So you can go down the list. There's... They make really cool attack elements. If you open up the editor, go to layer B, there's a pad hidden. 
in every patch. So just turn on layer B, and if you want to add something else to it, go to layer C. Now, the Make It Magic pads are in here. So if you go to collection, I think they're at the top of the list here. So go to the pads, you'll see the names. And look over here where it says PD, that's for short for pad. And then SY is synth, which is short, attacky, snappy, synthy patches using the same samples as the pads. So you have variations to every one of these. And let's, let's choose something like Bamboo Splinter. And to make it more interesting, you can do fun things like bring down the mix and add an LFO to this. And I have them already set up in the pad library for pulsing in eighth notes. Really nice. There's something unique and different, right? So these things are all incorporated in there. You've got the the ability in the patches. Um, I have eight knobs assigned for the pads, four knobs for the dreams library. So for Mega Magic Dreams, um, you know, let's go to this view so you can see the top row isn't assigned, but the second row is attack. Okay. Release. So you can flexibly shape the sounds right here. Of course, you have ADSRs here. <laughs> right there's your envelopes to play with, but you have to go over and hit amp before you get to the amp. But it's there if you want to use it as well. And then the eighth knob is for reverb. And I'll show you something really quick. It's kind of fun. Let's hit the editor page. If you go to the effects or any of these things that have a knob, if you select it, like um, hit edit, you can even go in here to like reverb time. If you select this, notice that it pops up up here as something that you can add a modulation source to. Let's just use this one here. And you can, oh, you can assign it to a pro edit like, um, Reverb one, let's give it a full range. And then let's have this. Um, so this way, this is now the size and you hit plus and assign this to be set to that eighth knob, right? So now I have it. So it's changing reverb size as well as mix. So I can start short, right? And now when I move knob eight, Let's go to this and bring up this range. As you can see, the little orange light, it's moving. So that means I have more range now. So you can assign multiple parameters to be modulated with these knobs, which is really fun. Right? So there's all sorts of cool things with the Mega Magic Dreams library. More percussive -y. Everything fades out because <laughs> they're all like eight to 10 seconds of reverb. Right? Even keyboard sounds are really cool. Even the organs and so forth do fade out. But it's unique. Having it done this way gives it a different sound. The pianos are really nice. One sample for the whole keyboard for piano. It's not as accurate as if you had lots and lots of samples across the keyboard, but it still takes on a personality of its own that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, dream piano. And again, hit editor, go to layer B and turn it on and it's a pad. That nice and again to, to point out you also could just use shift to turn on and off the layer um, without needing to go into the editor if you want just use the interface of wave state 
All you have to do to do that is hold down shift, turn it off, turn it on. Now here's layer B on. Let's open editor and let's go to layer C and let's add a pad for Mega Magic Pads. So you hit program right here because I saved every patch in the library as a program as well as a performance. So you can go over here to like three graces, which is a really pretty pad. It's nice and pretty. And again, you can turn the parts off by just holding down shift and turn them off if you want. Say I modified this and I wanted to save it. All I have to do is hit command S and that will save this performance. Or you could use uh, command shift S and that's save as new performance. And you could call it this with a plus sign or something like that because you've done a modification to it. And that way Dream Piano now shows up both in its original form and it's modified form. I love that you can play one sound and change to another sound. There's a whole lot of string and uh, synth patches that are really fun. Everything fades out in the Dreams library. So whatever sound it is, um, these are sounds from my modular synth over here, Maxwell. Mega Res Falls really cool. For 80s pop type song. Okay. So I think there's 104 different samples in the Mega Magic Dreams library, plus 10 bonus performances um, that do all sorts of really nice. Slipped away. Right. And then Mega Magic Pads is just incredibly beautiful pads. Mod wheel lowers the filter. And again, there's eight knobs. So um, knob one does an octave thing. Knob two is filter pulse. Knob three is amplifier pulse. And it's cool to use the two together. And then knob four is a resonant filter sweep down in darkness. It brings up resonance as the filter comes down. It's a favorite programming trick of mine to bring in resonance as you move the knob, so it's not starting with a high resonant pink that makes the sound all resonant all the time. You just have it come in as you're moving the knob. And then four, five, and six are for envelope control and, or five, six, seven, and then eight for reverb. So tons of reverb or no reverb. Some of the samples have ambience recorded into them. I layered two, three different um, software synthesizers when I made these pad sounds like six, seven years ago. 
Battleborn has been used on more dance and techno tracks than I can count because it's just got this great, it's like that perfect unison. You know, the super saw wave. Uh, guitar Tronic has a cool guitar attack. And then Guitar 2, version 2, has no attack. Just a pad. Lots of dark pads. There's actually pastoral warmth for a sad day. <laughs> There's not enough character spaces to put the full name in. <laughs> Bad chord. And again, filter will still make it darker. Another thing that's nice with wave state is you can play chords and then use the octave up and down. while playing, which is really nice and handy for doing unique things. Anyway, there's so many nice pads. You never have enough pads. So there's even strings. Turn off the reverb from Wave State because it's dry. And then Wet has uh, more ambience in the samples. And here's Simple. Right? And the world's divided is big and massive. Right? Okay. And then SY stands for synth. So the same sounds like here's world divided as a pad. Here is world divided as a synth. There's a really nice pitch envelope you could. Add more if you want or double click to set these to zero to remove it. And these are using what's called the loop version of the patches. All the samples have the unique attack that they come with. Uh, so I included also loop only versions where the sample attacks been removed. It's just the loop part. So it's a nice fast attack. So as you go through the synth patches, if you uh, make the attack, slow, then it comes back to a nice slow pad. But these can go to a fast attack. You can't get that from the full samples because I kept the slow, unique attack of each of the pads in with the originals. But all the synth patches, nice, nice. So it's two libraries in one. You get pads and fast synth sounds. And 
because the the way state's velocity is just so fun to play with, some of these have like all sorts of. You can um, very easily select like decay, and have exponential velocity control the decay of the samples. So I have it happening so that it starts really short. As you play it harder, you even see the envelopes change shape. Fun stuff like that. So that's the two libraries. And you can get them as a bundle or you can buy them individually. And they're available at my website, PluginGuru.com. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Uh, it's very nice to have an update where you get to interact with wave state in a really fun cool way so enjoy the update it's i've really enjoyed it it's a lot of fun to play and program with in this state so enjoy <laughs> okay see you later